let's discuss which exercises are best if you want to increase your your lookout the lookout in your bench press you want to bench press more weight you have to load it on the triceps like as much as the chest and the lats and even the even the biceps and the delts of course uh, are activated during the bench press the you know the, the muscle that works the most well as you're looking out is the triceps so what exercises i think are the best i actually wrote them down on a pamphlet so i don't forget them so number one for me is the, the floor press the floor press uh me not being a powerlifting historian i believe that was the first form of a bench press i think uh, if i remember well i read it somewhere it said that uh, before you know many many years ago obviously but um before they even you know had designed a bench in order for people yeah. to lay down and, and, and press people were, were benching on the floor and i'm guessing you know be, the push-up being probably the you know the oldest exercise people would do without any you know any gear bars or whatever so the, the floor press to me is a fantastic exercise you need to incorporate incorporate it in your training whether as a primary movement i rotate every week or almost every week and uh, sometimes because i press twice per week obviously i don't do nothing now because the gyms are closed but when you know when they're open the way i train is i press twice per week so my secondary pressing uh, pressing day upper body is shoulders overhead something i always begin with something overhead and then i do some kind of a, a bench press variation or even just a bench press just not as heavy so floor press number two inclined bench press close grip and or with the dumbbells now this is another great exercise again close grip uh, just just helps because you tuck your elbows in and again you overload the triceps overload meaning you know you could of course flare them out and, and do a more of a bodybuilding um, motion uh, and like you know keep the elbows like uh, i would say 45 or more degrees and then the the, the strain you know that you you stretch the chest a little more but me being a power lifter i'm not really concerned about how big my chest is i care more about benching more weight that being said of course uh, you can always switch grips you know you can do it close grip one week mid grip you know thumb out from the smooth and then you can go you know pinky on the rings or wh wh however wide you you choose to bench it's all relevant incline press and the dumbbells because the dumbbells i love the dumbbell presses incline and flat because you can you can dig a little deeper you can go you know my wrists when the bar is hitting my chest are fixed like you cannot go any deeper than that but uh, with the dumbbells they do because i i put them on the side almost parallel to my body almost because i do them close grip mostly but of course i rotate i mean of course i you know i flare my elbows out and i do more chest and delts and stuff like that but i'm talking about increasing our bench press the dumbbell presses again close grip and wide that's number three flat bench uh, dumbbell presses fantastic exercise you can do it as a primary movement or you can do it after your bench press or you can do it as a secondary exercise on the second bench uh, pressing day of the week upper body it's a great exercise i get i guess again the same principles uh, uh apply as much as the incline press or the incline dumbbell press it's the same thing i do in close grip of course you can always flare the elbows out whatever's best for you i mean if you're benching if your best bench is wide grip with your elbows flared out you can do it with your elbows flared out i mean it's not you're not forced to do it the way i do it it just works better for me number four bench with chains fantastic uh i used to do them i cannot do them anymore because the gym i work out in is a commercial gym and they have no chains as you can imagine uh, they are fantastic because the weight um, is progressive. As you go up, the weight increases. As you go down and touch your chest, again, it's man manageable weight. I've done about, I can't remember, I think it was like about 180 kilos, close to 405, 400 pounds, I believe, right? Or 405, I can't really remember the equation, but it was 180 kilograms, which I couldn't bench, and I still can't bench, not raw and i did it with the chains and as you know of course you know when the elbow is parallel to your chest you can feel it it's like you know 160 170 and upon lockout yeah, yeah, yeah. almost before lockout it's about 180. um that's another great exercise 
to increase the, your brand your bench and to handle loads that you couldn't handle raw so your body gets used to it and your nervous system as well you can condition your nervous system when you do heavy singles doubles triples even fives but not more than that because then you know up eight reps plus it's not it's more muscular than cns i would say not an expert on it though number five bands you can attach bands pulling from the bottom of the bench that is another great exercise and the bands are not like the chains the bands will force you to stay uh, tighter definitely because they don't wobble as much because the chains will wobble uh, the bands will nail you down to the floor they are brutal well depending on the band uh, tension obviously you don't want to go more than 30 to 35 percent i wouldn't think i wouldn't think so unless you're a fucking beast and you're benching the world then you can add like two or even three mini bands usually for me a set of mini bands is more than enough me I've always been close to a 350 360 band so that's where i usually am at bands they also make you faster if you apply the speed work with the bands which i also did for about four or five years number six the plank or blocks you know the, the bench blocks that thing they've they've come up with or the foam roller pl uh, press which i i don't know if i came up with it but anyway i thought about it maybe I'm, I'm sure other people have done it but when the when you press down and the bench press is elevated you know two to four inches of your chest again to overload the triceps overload meaning again that the weight stays more in your triceps your chest has engaged but it's not fully stretched so it's not fully engaged that's another great exercise where you can go a little bit heavier usually and you need a good spotter because you, you gotta hurt yourself make sure you have somebody with you at all times number seven the decline press another great exercise which mostly focuses on triceps because obviously you know when you're when your chest up and your belly is flying at least mine not, not everybody has a belly but the range of motion becomes less and you focus on the triceps and lats of course more and a lot less delts of course my delts on the decline i mean barely move so you know again it's a lockout enhancer great exercise and number eight the traditional close grip bench press which at some point was my favorite exercise being because i was it was my strongest before i benched 150 kilograms with a thumb out or a bit like i would say my hands were in the middle of the bar it, they weren't close to the to the first ring i don't really i i close I, I benched relatively close so the close grip bench to me has been a super important exercise and it's always in my rotation almost weekly either it's for repetitions for sets of 8 10 12 or it's heavy singles doubles or triples or fives depending so you can incorporate all these exercises the you know the the close grip bench the planks or or boards or a foam roller or bench blocks or whatever you have you know so just have something solid that will stop the bench these exercises will force your triceps to work more and more exclusively and uh i hope that helps because i gotta run subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for watching